And so one of the things that I've always said about um, the leverage, public humiliation is an underrated leverage. Um, especially um, tennis is a pretty prim and proper genteel sport. Um, they are not at all used to that. Um, you know, in, in football, baseball, you know, uh, uh, industrial context, people are used to that. Um, they're not, and so the tournament put out an apology, um, and, and you know, we're not stopping at that. We're gonna say, okay, well, how do you prevent this from next year, and how do you put standards in place, and all the things, checks and balances that, that we talk about in every context, not just um, that specific context. So I think public humiliation is a very underrated piece of leverage. And then the last piece related to public humiliation, Fans and consumers are an underrated source of leverage. Um, uh, the, the amazing presentation we got um, uh, about uh, women's futsal, right? I mean, that whole thing was centered on that because, you know, as opposed to trying to withhold services, they were trying to effectively provide services in another context of, of a Women's World Cup in futsal. And so how do you get them to do what sounds like they should have done years ago and, and, and create that event? There's a public you know, outcry and a public uh, campaign around it. And so I think those are you know, underrated pieces of leverage for us. There's legal levers, there's, there's public levers. Um, there are things around matches and games that players can do um, short of not showing up entirely.